Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading and we're going to look at, oh goodness, okay wow, Cosmic Egg and the Tarantula came in. Ooh, we love that. Okay, so we have the Leo full moon happening this week. So this these cards are I pulled out for the Leo full moon because as you know, full moons affect you three days three to five days before and three to five days after so it's going to be having a major impact on this reading and yeah you've got the tarantula and the cosmic egg wow the snake is looking at the spider they're kind of two scary looking animals really so but yeah I actually really love the tarantula and the cosmic egg the tarantula is a fire element and the cosmic egg is an element of spirit coming in. So, hmm, okay, what I'm getting. See the beautiful snake of the cosmic egg? It's This is like mother snake protecting her egg. It's something in your life that you're really protective of that's potentially birthing or about to birth or that you're just protecting it. Maybe it's... It feels like maybe this is a person, but an energy, a dynamic, but there's something here that you're kind of going, I'm I'm holding on to it. What are you holding on to for fear of letting go? Because this egg needs to hatch. It's ready to hatch. But Mother Snake is holding on to it, going, I don't want to let it go just yet. And the idea of letting it go so that this thing can birth and become what it needs to be in the world and grow into something different that perhaps is out of your control a little bit more or a little bit more at, less under your, your wing or of protection, it's going to grow into its own thing. Um, but it might feel a little bit scary. Like she's looking at the tarantula going, that looks scary. What if it births and it's a tarantula? What if a tarantula comes out of the egg? And so all these kind of weird fears about, I mean, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> Snake's not going to give birth to a tarantula. Uh, I know it sounds like completely like, but these are what these fears can be. They can be irrational fears that are coming in. So it's, it's also a sense of if this thing's birth, then perhaps there's a lot of work that comes in or perhaps it takes you along a path that seems scary or seems like it's going to take you out of a comfort zone in some way, shape or form. So, but it's almost like it can't really, it's ready to, it's ready. Whatever this cosmic egg represents, it's ready to birth in your life. So it's kind of like the energy, the analogy that they're giving me, and this is just an example, is the parent who has the child who's about 16, oh, probably 17, well, probably 18, okay, between 17 and 18, somewhere around there, like an age where they could technically leave home if they wanted to and they'd be old enough to kind of support themselves. So whatever age that is might be older than that, but the age is not specific. So, But it's like the parent at one point, it's like the, that child needs to go out and explore the world and go off to university or college or just get a job or go traveling or whatever it is that they want to do with their life. Um, but the parent has still got that sense of knowing that the child needs to go out and live their life. But at the same time, it's like, but I don't want you to leave. I like having you home. I, our dynamic is going to shift and change in some way, shape or form. And it's a necessary evolution and perhaps it might even be better, but there might be irrational fears that are coming. What if this happens? What if that happens? Like natural parenting fears, you know, see our child climb a tree and immediately thinking like it could be thinking of all the things that go wrong. Is it going to fall out? Is it going to hurt itself? So it's just these sense of I'm just getting these like uh, fears that could be coming up about letting this thing, whatever it represents in your life. So it doesn't have to be particular to that example, um, but it's something's ready to grow and take a life of its own at this moment in time. And so it's about trusting that, trusting what it's going to be and that it's going to be okay and that trusting that this is the natural evolution of things and that this needs to happen. So let's see, let's pull a card around, supporting card around this. Look at that, the High Priestess, the beautiful cat coming in. So intuition and sacred knowledge. 
there's a part of you that or, that knows this because you are the cosmic egg. You know, the cosmic egg is your soul and spirit. Um, so it's it already knows, and perhaps that this thing needed to be protected, needed to have that sense of, um, you know, spirit was protecting it. But spirit is now giving you the message it's time to hatch. So trust the intuitive messages that you're getting in, that you can't, that are coming in with this. There's sacred knowledge that's coming around with it with the high priestess. So things are going to be revealed to you about, you know, ha what's happening with this at the right time. And it's just about trusting that process when the high priestess comes in. Now, interestingly, for some of you, I'm just getting the cosmic egg could quite literally be your your sacred knowledge. This could be you opening up to your intuition, to your psychic abilities, to esoteric knowledge in some way, shape or form. And maybe that seems a bit scary. Um, but yeah, whatever it is that you're opening up to, the high priestess is saying she's by your side, your intuition is by your side here. And so the high priestess brings synchronicities and brings luck. So definitely might keep an eye out for that. This potentially feels like this is really being supported by the universe. And another thing that could be supporting this they're bringing me to is the Venus in Pisces air energy that is around at the moment. Venus is in Pisces. Venus is the planet of love, the planet that rules love, money, relationships, what we're attracted to, who we're attracted to, how we express ourselves, our love language. And also she rule, like Venus rules beauty and creativity. So in the sign of Pisces, she's exalted because all those things that she loves bringing in flow really well in Pisces. So exalted means that she just loves being in that sign and works really well in that sign. And so this is an energy of the Pisces energy is the transcendent energy. It's the last sign of the zodiac, the 12th sign. So it's about rising above and connecting to spirit, the higher octaves of everything. So when we're talking about love, then it's the higher octave of that, unconditional love, compassion, forgiveness, and through those processes we can heal uh, wounds. There's healing that can come through. Uh, so this could be creativity that's coming through. It could be uh, a new opportunity when it comes to money that's coming in. So, yeah, we're going to pull. So I'm going to pull a story for you here, Virgo, and they're saying this is coming from the quantum realm. So it has no time and space attached to it in a way. It's there's no time in the quantum realm. So this is kind of coming from the 5D, this story that's coming through. So it could be from the past, the present, or the future, or all of the above. And this story in itself may or may not resonate exactly or mirror something in your life at the moment, but there's a soul message in here, hopefully, that will resonate for you, and we'll get to that. So we've, I'm going to put these up on the screen. We've got the chariot. We've got the queen of pentacles. We've got the four of swords. And we've got the boom, the tower, and the queen of swords. My goodness, so much going on inside your mind here. And then the ace of wands. Wow. Okay, boom, you've got the tower. So, yes, this full moon is going to be squaring Uranus um, in Taurus. So Uranus energy is going to challenge you to see things from a very different perspective. And it's right next to the four of swords and the queen of swords there. Uh, so a lot of things going on inside of you, like a lot of divine feminine. So the chariot is cancer energy. The queen of pentacles is divine feminine. The four of swords is going within and uh, going in and reworking some stories that you've been told. The tower is like the moment where it's like, boom, I'm really realizing what this means and I'm really seeing this from a very different perspective. And then the queen of swords is releasing fears her head is above the clouds of fear and doubt here and she's saying yes to something there's this inner resolve this inner clarity this is how I this is what I'm thinking here thinking very clearly I can see it and so she's giving something the green light and so therefore we've got the ace of wands which is like the act the divine masculine being activated something's being activated that wants to be put out there in the world aka the cosmic egg so this is an activation of the divine masculine um, a new goal a new uh, passion a new path that comes in and opens up for you so 
Yeah, the Ace of Wands is the fire of um, Aries, which is kind of, um, all, and Leo as well, but it's kind of like almost like you've got to trust your instinct. Um, when this comes, there's an opportunity that you've kind of potentially got to make a very quick decision around and go for it when it comes in. So that's something that's coming in with this. Um, they haven't really given me the quantum story. Sorry, <laughs> I just started reading the cards. Uh, so let me see if this is coming through. So... Okay, this is the story. It's the person that thought that this is a person that they're saying that thought they knew it all. They understood the world, what they could see, what they could feel in front of them. This was the world, the material world. And this is what they knew to be true. But then one day it was like this energy came into their mind, came into their head whether it was through religion, philosophy, some kind of higher information or learning or study, but it came into their mind. Their mind was filled with this new information, this new knowledge. And that completely blew open their sense of reality, that it wasn't just what they saw right in front of them, that there was this whole other world out there. There was all these other things out there. There was like, yeah, this other realm. And so it took a while for this person to process it all. But from that point onwards, it was like they made a, a very, very strong decision. They're like, okay, I'm deciding now that I'm, there was like this inner resolve, this inner choice that, that happened. Now that they've seen so much more and understood so much more, they saw very clearly what they needed to do. Now, for whatever reason, they're showing me like it's kind of like there's a real bit of a mission that this person has got, this sense of now I know how to serve humanity better. They're kind of showing me a bit of a like a Florence Nightingale kind of type person. Uh, so it's like I never knew there were so many people out there that had this issue, this problem, and now that I know, I'm going to help them. Now I know about this. I'm not ignorant anymore of it. I, I'm a totally, totally aware of this. I'm resolving that I'm going to help these people. I'm going to do something about this. So, you know, you can, it doesn't have to be that exact example. It doesn't, I've kind of shown me a lot of humanitarian, charity kind of energy, like really wanting to serve and help other people and understand that there's a collective energy. But this, you could apply this to just an issue in your life. It's like now that this kind of other perspective has come in or this new knowledge or information has come in, it's like a sense of now I know. So just say it was like, um, for the other example they're giving me, just say there was somebody that, say, hadn't spoken to you for a long time and you kind of, they hadn't made much of an effort. You're kind of a bit annoyed, like I can't be bothered with them anymore if they can't be bothered making an effort with me, say. So you're just like, oh, got this kind of idea of what's going on for this person. But then you find out through the grapevine that this person's actually really been struggling with something really hard quite difficult in their life and they just haven't told you which is why they've shut themselves off from you and so once you find that out it's kind of like all right this inner the knowledge sort of seems to concrete and becomes like this like I said this inner resolve now I know that I've changed my opinion of that person I understand their suffering a little bit more and it's like I am going to not have that judgment of them for a start, perhaps you're going to want to help them and understand that this is potentially you're finding out that this thing this person's struggling with is something that lots of people are struggling with. And, yeah, it's just got this sense of a collective consciousness attached to it and that some sort of like um, ju like perception of a person, a situation or a, an event is you're getting this whole other way of seeing it is coming in 
that can really shift you. It feels like this really shift inside your mind where suddenly you're just clear and aligned with the truth and feeling resolved. And so you take that energy and use it in a really positive, constructive way. Now I know what I want. I have to do. Now I know what I want to do here in this situation. Now it doesn't have to be connected to charity or uh, it just has this kind of yeah collective humanitarian vibe like you want to do something for the better of the better for all kind of thing um so but it's also making your life better at the same time so yeah it really is this sense that Yeah, whatever is birthing here with the cosmic egg, and I'm, they're kind of bringing me back to that, but I'm like, it doesn't quite make sense yet. I'm trying to get why it makes. Okay, so they're saying it's not, it not in your rational mind, it might not necessarily, you might not see the connection at first between what's going on, this kind of revelatory energy or something really shifting your perception inside your mind and understanding new knowledge coming to light in some way, shape or form, whether this is like divine inspiration, um, intuition, or whether it's just information. They're saying it's almost like you won't connect the dots between that and what this other thing that is birthing in your life at first. But eventually it will make sense is what they're saying. And when you understand that, this other understanding will help you let go of your fear connected to that that needs to birth. So, yeah, fascinating, Virgo. So that is your reading. That's your reading. So, yeah, that's it. In celebration of Venus in Pisces and Valentine's Day on February 14th, I am offering 14% off selected readings. So that includes love readings and general readings because I don't know everyone's into the love readings. So if you'd like to make use of that offer and take advantage of it, it's on until February the 14th. The link is in the description box below if you'd like to book in and using coupon code GLG Love, the descriptions will be the instructions will be on the booking page but if this is where we're leaving each other please like subscribe share leave a comment that lets youtube know that you support the channel and helps with the growth of the channel the algorithms all changing at the moment with the shorts programs coming in so i really appreciate all the support that i can get and yeah take care <music>